What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Now today I have a little bit of a different video for you guys and it's going to be a secrets revealed video for one of my trick shots that I posted I think about a year ago. It was in dice stacking trick shots and the trick shot that I'm going to be revealing as you guys all saw in the intro is the D-stack and restack, which is actually not possible because I had a trick that I had when editing this trick shot to make it look possible but it's actually not. And today, I'm going to be revealing my secrets for that trick shot. So, I guess let's just get started. Here we go. Alright guys, now for the secrets real part of this video, the first part of the trick shot was actually pretty straightforward, which was just a normal D stack with five smaller dice, not casino dice, but that was before I actually had casino dice. And I just did a normal D stack and ended it at this frame right here, where my hand was at the edge of swinging the cuff. Which leads us right into the first secret of this trick shot. Alright, so the first secret of this trick shot involved me putting the video in reverse after playing the original flip, because the end of the original flip was me swinging my hand to the edge, very edge of one swing as you guys see right here, and that allowed me to put it in reverse and replay it smoothly, which made it look like I was just shaking the cup, and then start restacking the stack. And once I had the stacking part completely done and finished, and once it looked smooth, I needed a way to trigger my reaction to make it look like a legitimate trick shot. Because if I had no reaction, you guys would probably think it wasn't real. And so this is what I did to make it look real. Alright, so what I did first was come up with a reaction that was simple enough to put in reverse and that would make the viewers think the trick shot was real. And so what I came up with was the reaction where I smiled at the camera and made a sound like at the same time, which was pretty simple to put in reverse, which I did right before the trick shot and then started de-stacking the stack. Alright, and once I had all these clips made, I cut out the reaction from the original clip and then played it later in reverse after the original clip was finished, which made it look like just a normal de-stack. And then once I got to the reverse part, it started restacking up, and then it would show the reaction, which I clipped out from the first part, and that was the trick shot itself. Movie magic. 